And there's another re event that's returning to the area, but this time it's been a few years. Yeah, the last time it was in the area was Brown County in 2008, but Farm Technology Day is on its way back to the area. The three-day event will be hosted next month by the Sugar Creek and Heideman Family Farms in Sugarbush. Fox 11's Chad Doran stopped by the farms near New London today for a preview. It's billed as the biggest and most important farming event of the year in Wisconsin. Not too many people get the opportunity to do something like this. The 2012 Farm Technology Days will be returning to Outagamie County in July for the first time since 1981. This year, with a twist, the event is co-hosted by the Sugar Creek and Heideman Family Farms. Farming neighbors plowing divergent paths to success, hoping to spur interest in future farmers. Mostly educational, I think, try to get young people to know what farming is about and hopefully get them interested. In. Sugar Creek is a state-of-the-art dairy farm with 1,250 head of cows, pumping out more than 100,000 gallons of milk a day. We're on a newer style farm here, freestyle parlor compared to their tie stall barn. The Heidemann family farm is a more traditional farming operation. Pretty much from start to finish, the cropping operation from tillage to spraying to custom harvesting. Both will be featured during Farm Technology Days. So will Outagamie County. In just a few weeks, these empty fields will be filled with hundreds of tents and thousands of visitors, bringing with it notoriety for one of the county's largest industries and a big boost to the county's economy. It is a significant amount of work just to bid on this event, and it's a big win for Outagamie County. Hotels from New London to Appleton will be booked, and visitors are expected to spend close to $1 million during the event. It's the biggest event we will have this summer in Outagamie County from a tourism perspective. An event these farmers are proud to be part of. I guess soak it all in and enjoy it because it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. In Sugarbush, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. More than 600 exhibitors are expected for the event on more than 350 acres. Organizers say they expect up to 15,000 visitors each day, July 17th, 18th, and 19th.